Here is a micrograph of skin and there's a lot of red stuff underneath it. So how about if we call this red skin? Actually, the Greek word for red skin is erysipelas, and I hope I pronounced it correctly. But quite frankly, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly in English either. This is erysipelas, E-R-Y-S-I-P-E-L-A-S. -E it is a condition in which the skin is inflamed and infected classically with Streptococcus pyogenes, which is a group a strep and it uh, involves the skin and because of the surrounding hyperemia uh, the skin looks red. Let's look at an area where we could see a lot of neutrophils which is here and they're all in reaction to strep and if you could stain the strep you would see that it was up here it's more of an abscess in some areas it's a little more diffuse and this is the reason for the skin to appear redder is because there is an acute inflammatory response or hyperemia or dilatation of the blood vessels in response to this acute this acute inflammatory process um, it uh, can result in toxic uh, type syndromes, uh, fever, uh, severe sepsis systemically as well. But in this case, at least by itself, we could see that the primary area of acute uh, purulent inflammation is in the deep dermis. This is erysipelas caused by group A strep, and I thank you very much.